What's up guys, Eric here from LED Grow Lights Depot. This time I'm reviewing the Black Dog LED Phytomax 3 12SP LED Grow Light. Stick around for the full review, PAR testing, and the pros and cons of this fixture. Plus, Black Dog LED is claiming up to four plus pounds of dried, cured, and trimmed product with this light. Find out how they do it. And support our channel by destroying the like button and subscribing. Let's go. The new Black Dog LED Phytomax 3 SP series is quite expansive, featuring seven different lights, the 2SP, 4SP, 8SP, 12SP, 16SP, 20SP, and 24SP. The light output across the fixtures range from 219 ppf all the way up to 2622 ppf. There's another Phytomax 3 series called the SC series, which is exactly like the SP series, except that the SC series has an ETL sticker, which is required for commercial applications. The SC series is slightly more expensive because of this. Let's dive deeper into the Phytomax 3 12 SP. All Black Dog LED lights come double boxed and shipped discreetly. The 12 SP measures 15 by 15 by 4.5 inches, and it weighs 23 pounds. The PCBs are cooled by an overbuilt heat sink. The heat sink is cooled by four powerful fans that draw air into the fixture over the heat sink and expel the warm air out the other side. This helps keep the fixture quite cool to the touch. The fans are rated for 70,000 hours. There's no assembly required except for attaching the 8 foot cord into the fixture. While there's not an included onboard dimmer, most industry standard 0 to 10 volt controllers, like the Trollmaster controller, will work to control the on off schedule and dimming from 15% to 100%. More on that soon. The total light output of the 12 SP clocks in at 1311 micromoles per second, photobiological photon flux, with an efficacy of 2.13 micromoles per joule. The light output was measured from 350 to 750 nanometers. UV to near infrared. This range of light is beyond the typical PAR range of 400 to 700 nanometers and is called photobiologically active radiation. According to Black Dog LED, the light can be used in a 3.5 by 3.5 to 6.25 by 6.25 area for flowering, depending on the light intensity that you want to deliver to your plants. The hanging height will vary, but for this light in a 4x4 tent, I recommend a hanging height of 30 to 36 inches above your plants in most cases. Black Dog LED states that this light will veg a 4.25 by 4.25 to 7.75 by 7.75 foot area. The 12 SP draws 615 watts and 5.13 amps at 120 volts at the wall, according to Black Dog LED. At 115 volts, I received a reading of 632 watts with an amperage of 5.53. The Phytomax 3 series is rated for 100 to 277 volt applications with plug types available for each wattage. The Phytomax 3 series lights can be daisy chained together and connected to one 20 amp circuit. The entire fixture emits 2097 BTUs per hour. The 12 SP comes with a limited lifetime manufacturer's warranty, is CE, FCC, and ROHS compliant and should only be used for home grows since the SC series is a primary series used for commercial grows. The bread and butter of these lights is the Phytogenesis Spectrum. While I was researching their website, I noticed that all aspects of the spectrum have been well thought out. The ratio of red to blue, the amount of green light, and the amount of UV and far red, which is 3.4% and 4.9% respectively. While there's no perfect spectrum, this one is pretty darn close to perfect. And I really dig when companies add UV and far red to their lights. This spectrum is made up of the highest quality top bin diodes, but Black Dog LED is hush hush about the exact diodes that are used. Expect the diodes to last 70,000 hours or more. Black Dog LED does not have PAR charts for this unit. They say that this light can be used in as small as a 3.5 by 3.5 area, but a 4x4 would be a typical size tent for this light. So here are my PPFD readings in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. And the first reading is at 4 feet above the meter, or 48 inches, where we're getting just over 700 PPF. Going to move the meter to the back, about 590. Corners are looking like they're around 537. And this other side, about 560. So pretty good uniformity, good penetration. I mean, keep in mind this light is at four feet um, and we're hitting numbers that we could essentially flower with. 
All right. Next reading at 36 inches, so three feet. We're, we're already hitting just over a thousand PPFD. Moving to the back about 675. About 480. And about 660. So less uniformity here. Notice that the intensity is definitely increasing in the middle, uh, right underneath the light, but uh, dropping off fairly quickly as you move towards the edges and corners. All right, and the next reading at 30 inches, about 1370. So 30 inches is where I would recommend hanging this light if you want to use it in a 4x4 tent. Notice that the intensity and uniformity are um, pretty well balanced here because any further, I feel like the numbers are a little low for flowering. Um, you know, 48 inches, definitely too far away. 36 inches, getting a little bit better, but 30 inches, you're getting that intensity in the middle while not losing too much uniformity and some pretty safe intensities too. Um, as you'll see here where we go to 24 inches on the next one, this is way too close. So again, 30 inches, I think, is that sweet spot. So just look at that uniformity drop. And to this other side. All right, see that those middle numbers are looking a little too high. Don't want to burn your plants. And just pretty poor uniformity overall. All right, that sums it up. Black Dog LED is one of the pioneers in LED grow lighting. They have been in business since 2010, which is a long time for an LED grow light company. While not all growers will find Black Dog LED lights appealing based on their lighting application, I have several good things to say about the Phytomax 3 series. So let's talk about the pros and cons, which will hold true for all of the lights in the series and not just the 12SP. Starting with the cons. One. The Phytomax 3 series does not have high uniformity when used individually, especially compared to a bar light. Black Dog LED is still using the same boxy design that they started with. The design does allow for more vertical penetration into the canopy, but at the expense of uniformity. It's difficult to attain both penetration and uniformity with a single light unless you have several lights working together. Two. This series is not as efficient as other lights on the market, coming in at 2.13 micromoles per joule, which is pretty low compared to some of the highest efficacies I have seen, 3.2 micromoles per joule, and most other lights these days, averaging about 2.6 to 2.7 micromoles per joule. Three, on that same note, with a lower efficacy, you're gonna see lower light output, 1,311 micromoles per second of light for the 12SP to be exact, which is several hundred micromoles per second lower than many other lights that draw around 630 to 650 watts. In my PAR readings of this fixture, you can see that I was getting some really good numbers under and around the light, but not so much in the corners or extreme edges. But keep in mind that I do not have an EPAR meter, so it's not picking up over 100 micromoles per second of UV and far red light in my readings. Even with a lower light output, Black Dog LED has done some pretty amazing things with their lights, which I'll mention shortly. Four, there are fans on this fixture which run constantly. They do create some noise, but they do keep the heat sink and diodes pretty darn cool. The light never felt hot to me after keeping it on for around 45 minutes. Five, the light is dimmable, but not out of the box. There is not an RJ port on the fixture. Instead, Black Dog LED lights have their own four prong port and data cables, which can connect to a zero to 10 volt controller like the Trollmaster controller. You would also need an LMA 14 adapter and cable adapter when connecting to a Trollmaster controller. Links to the controller, cables, and adapters are in the description. There should be a Black Dog LED dimmer coming soon, but you can use their data cable to connect to most zero to 10 volt dimmers. Six, the last con is that the lights in this series are expensive, and I'll get to the price soon. Now the pros. One, Black Dog LED claims up to four plus pounds per light with a Phytomax 3 12 SP. Given the total light output of the fixture, this appears exaggerated. However, to attain high yields, Black Dog LED uses a heavy defoliation method to maximize yields, made popular by 3 Alight, called schwazing. Link in description to learn more about this method. Spectrum and genetics matter, as do other environmental factors when maximizing yield, so keep that in mind. And don't expect four plus pounds right out of the gate. 
The point is that the potential is there when everything is aligned for success. And lastly, just for reference, Black Dog's claiming seven plus pounds for their largest light, the 24 SP. Two, the light is a true full spectrum with UVA to far red. The spectrum is not blurple. There is plenty of green in the spectrum to make objects look pretty natural underneath the light. And on video, the spectrum appears pink, but to the eye, the spectrum can be best described as a pinkish white and can be further corrected to look a natural white with Black Dog LED glasses. Three, the first thing you notice about the Phytomax 3 12 SP upon unboxing is the high quality build. The fixture is built like a tank. It's extremely solid and well made from the PCBs up through the cooling system and overall construction. This fixture is a beast. Four, the Phytomax 3 series is a fresh change from a bar light. I'm so used to reviewing larger bar style fixtures, so it's nice to see a fixture that is more compact and easier to maneuver around in your grow space. The smaller size of these compared to a 4x4 bar style fixture also makes them easier to hang and install. Five, I briefly touched on this in the cons, but I'll also say it here. The Phytomax 3 series has excellent penetration due to the concentrated light pattern. Home growers using one or a few of these lights will benefit from the penetration, but commercial growers will get good penetration and great uniformity when using a lot of these lights in a larger grow space. Six, overall the Phytomax 3 is an upgrade in efficacy and light output compared to the Phytomax 2 series. There are seven different light sizes to choose from in this new series depending on what size you need to cover and what you can afford an upgrade from the five lights that made up the Phytomax 2 series. Seven, lastly, and almost most importantly, the Phytomax 3 lights are backed by a great warranty and customer service by Black Dog LED. The price of the 12 SP is $1,689 with free shipping at LED Grow Lights Depot and save 10% at checkout on most lights in the Phytomax 3 series at ledgrowlightsdepot.com. There's a link in the description to this light, all of Black Dog LED's lights, and the other items and resources that I mentioned earlier. So hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this reviewing popular LED grow lights and check out our other LED grow light reviews on YouTube as well. Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways and other great content. Link below. See you later.